Welcome to the craft test everyone. If you are new, my name is Vanessa. On today's DIY video, I'm going to do four different types of gingerbread houses using only Dollar Tree supplies. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook where I post super quick and easy DIYs and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I post new videos every week. Now let's get on with today's crafts. So for the first set of houses that I'm going to do in this project, I'm going to take three of the Dollar Tree metal tea light holders. They come in three different colors. I think it's red, green, and this silver. I chose this silver because it'll be easier to paint and I won't need that many coats. So I'm going to take acrylic paint in a pink blush color. I got this paint at Michael's. You can get it anywhere, any craft store. Uh, and I'm going to give these little houses uh, about two or three coats of paint, letting each coat dry in between. So let's continue to paint our first set of houses. So I painted two of the houses in the pink blush color and one in a conch shell color. Uh, all of those are acrylic paints and they're easily available at any craft supply store. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some Mod Podge along with some very fine pink glitter and some white glitter. And I am going to give all of these three houses a little sparkle so they can have a little shine to them. So let's begin with that. And now these little houses are ready and on display. I love the way that they look. A simple and easy makeover just using some paint and glitter. Hope you like them too. So for project number two, I took a wood birdhouse from the Dollar Tree and I painted it in the same pink color, the pink blush color that I used in the first project. Now I'm going to take some of the puffy paint and add details to the house in order to give it that icing look uh, when you make the gingerbread houses and you decorate them with the icing. So that's what I'm going to do now. So let's continue with the white puffy paint to add details to this little birdhouse. So now that all my details are done before the puffy paint dries, I'm going to take some extra fine uh, white iridescent glitter and just pour some of it over it 
uh, the white paint will uh, take up the glitter so I don't have to use any Mod Podge in order to do it. And it'll be even a quicker step. So right before the paint dries, pour some glitter on whatever project you may be working on and it will stick to the paint. So let's continue with that. Now that I've finished the roof, I'm going to do the details on the side of the house. I'm gonna make it look like it is a, a brick pattern. So all I'm going to do is draw some horizontal lines and then some squares uh, interchanging between the spaces. And I'm going to do the same thing and pour glitter on it before the puffy paint dries. Let's continue with this step. Now that the puffy paint is dry, I'm going to add some details to this house. I'm going to take these wood stickers from the Dollar Tree. They're in the crafters square section uh, or in the Christmas section now for the season. Uh, it's made out of wood and they have a lot of nice details. So what I'm going to do is I decided to use the back of the house as my front. I didn't want to see that circle uh, that it looks like a birdhouse. So I'm going to turn around um, the house and I'm going to adhere with hot glue uh, the snowflake onto the house. So let's continue with this step. So now I'm going to take some Mod Podge and give the house uh, in the back a thin layer of Mod Podge and then I'm going to pour some glitter over it using the extra fine glitter uh, in order to give it a little sparkle. So let's do this part. So now that the house is dry, I had this uh, piece of wood, a little square piece of wood, and I painted it white. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hot glue uh, the birdhouse onto this uh, piece of wood in order to give it some height. And I also want to add a little tree in front of it and it will give me some room to do so. So let's adhere uh, the birdhouse to this piece of wood. So now that I glued the birdhouse onto the square uh, piece of wood, I'm going to give the square piece of wood a coat of Mod Podge, and then I'm going to sprinkle some of the white extra fine glitter to it in order to give it a little sparkle and to give it an effect of some snow. So let's finish off this part. So now I'm going to take this sheet of sticker rhinestones uh, from the Dollar Tree. You can find them in the Crafter Square section. 
and I'm just going to take one and place it in the middle of the snowflake in order to give it a little sparkle, a little shine. Uh, I'm going to adhere it with some hot glue right in the center of the snowflake and this part will be done. So let's finish this part off. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the white puffy paint and I'm going to use it to draw a door on uh, the birdhouse in order to give it the appearance that this is the front of the house. So just with the puffy paint, I'm going to do a roundish door, give it a little doorknob, and I'll be done with this part. So the final step is going to be to place this little tree in front of the house. This little tree is also one of the wood stickers that was on the sheet. I forgot to record this part, but I just painted it pink and hot glued some of the little pearl beads uh, that are also stickers from the Dollar Tree. So with some hot glue, I'm just going to attach it to the front of the house uh, and it'll look like our little house has a little tree right in front of it. And this is it for this project and this will be ready to display. So project number three, I'm going to take three of these uh, winter village houses from the Dollar Tree. They're adorable as is, but I wanted them to match my pink decor for this year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint them by hand. I've seen uh, people spray paint them, but if you spray paint them, uh, the spray paint will coat the house way too much and that's not the look that I'm going for. I'm going to use the same blush pink uh, acrylic paint that I used in the previous projects and the conch shell pink and some white. So with those three acrylic paint colors, I'm going to do these three houses by, paint, by hand. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each of these one coat first to see how much of the original color pops through because I do want some of that color to pop through and affect the pink paint. So let's begin with this project. So now I finished painting all three of the houses and as you can see, there's little pops of the original color coming through, especially on this one. You can see some of that little yellow coming through the pink paint and I'm actually loving the way that it looks so far. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take some Mod Podge and some of the very fine pink glitter uh, and I'm going to give these houses a little uh, Christmas sparkle. So let's do that.
So I'm almost done with the glitter on this last house and I love the way that they are looking. Uh, it actually looks like a very high-end piece. Uh, and all it took was some paint and glitter. And once the glitter is dry, they will be ready to put on display. Let's move on to project number four. So for our last set of houses, I'm going to take the uh, Dollar Tree bird houses again. This time I'm going to use two. I had given them already a very light coat of a cafe latte acrylic paint not too much i just wanted to change the color of the wood and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the puffy paint to start adding the details just like what i did with um, our first birdhouse in this video so let's continue with adding the details to this house And now I'm going to do the same thing I did with the pink birdhouse. Before the puffy paint dries completely, I'm going to sprinkle it with the very fine uh, white glitter in order to give it a little sparkle. So let's finish adding the glitter. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take these little wooden stickers. They were also part of that sheet of wooden stickers um, from the Crafter Square section in the Dollar Tree. They were completely wood, but I painted them. And now I'm going to use them as decor for the sides of the houses. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue them onto the sides. So let's do this. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these little pearl bead stickers. Uh, they come in a sheet um, from the crafters square section of the Dollar Tree. Now they are attached as a strip with little pieces of glue, I guess. So I peeled them off one by one, which is quite time consuming, but I want to use them individually and I'm going to use them to decorate the roof. So let's continue by doing this part. So now that I finished with the beads on the roof, um, it was quite time consuming, but I absolutely love the way it looks. Uh, both of them are done and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some a uh, little bit of a faux snow detail I'm going to use the fake snow from the Dollar Tree uh, Using some Mod Podge to adhere it to the base of the wooden um, Houses for these two. I'm not going to attach them to any base like I did with the first pink house in this video I'm going to keep them as is and all I'm going to do is uh, some layer of Mod Podge and I'm going to sprinkle some of the snow in order to give that effect that um, there's snow on the ground. So let's continue doing this part.
now the last step is I'm going to take some of these uh, bottle brush trees from the Dollar Tree. They come about six in a pack and I'm going to add a little tree in front of each of the houses uh, in order to give it that little finishing touch. So with some hot glue, I'm just going to attach them to the base of the um, birdhouse and we will be done and these two little houses will be ready to display. And now all of the gingerbread houses are done different styles to fit any decor made only using Dollar Tree supplies. And I really love the way that they all turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching everyone. See you all on my next DIY.